Well howdy happy hardware folks, welcome to another PC Games N Tech Talk. I'm Dave, this is the Core i9-9900K, and we're now allowed to talk about how the new 9th gen chip performs and what we think of it. So is it really the world's best gaming processor as Intel has repeatedly stated, or is it just the same 14 nanometer Intel CPU architecture we've been seeing for the past three years? The somewhat frustrating answer is, yes it is. Now I know that's not the most clear of answers, however concise it might be, but that's because the first mainstream desktop i9 really is both. It is the world's fastest gaming processor, but realistically it's also barely any different from the three generations of Intel Core CPUs that have preceded it. Sure it's the first 8 core 16 thread CPU Intel has put up for sale in the standard desktop segment, but at its heart the architecture involved dates back to the 6th gen Skylake CPUs of 2015. And yet it will keep your graphics card fed in-game to the point where it can deliver higher gaming frame rates than AMD's top 8 core chip, the Ryzen 7 2700K. So that's an Intel win, right? Well... But first, specs. The headline grabbing numbers are the 8 cores and 16 threads of processing power that the i9-9900K can offer. That's right, Intel has finally caught up with AMD on the core configuration front, for the first time since Ryzen was released. And in terms of its clock speed, you're looking at around 3.6 GHz as the base clock and a massive 5 GHz turbo boost. Though realistically, that's just the occasional single core max boost frequency and not something you'll see in general when gaming. Though the 9900K does knock around the 4.7 GHz mark as standard when all cores are being used, and between 4.8 and 4.9 GHz when you're just thrashing a single core, so it's pretty darn quick out of the box. But that's about it. Plug it into a Z390 and you can take advantage of the dubious benefits of native USB 3.1 and an integrated Intel wireless connection, though both of which are already accessible via third-party support in old Z370 boards anyway. It's still a 14 nanometer chip, sorry it's a 14 nanometer plus plus chip, which means it's still using the same production process as the Coffee Lake design, which in turn was only a mild update on the 14 nanometer plus architecture made available by Kaby Lake, which in turn was barely any different to the inaugural 14 nanometer Skylake design released back in 2015. So where does all this 9th gen malarkey come from then, if it's really just an 8 core version of the 8th gen CPUs? Well, it's all down to marketing, as you might expect, and being able to give Intel's OEMs and system builders a chance to say that they're making new gaming PCs with a whole new generation of processors, even if something like the i5-9600K is identical to the i5-8600K. The key battleground for the 9900K is how it performs against AMD's top 8 core chip, the Ryzen 7 2700X. That's where Intel fell down with its ill-conceived benchmark commission a couple of weeks back, and that's where the 9900K really needs to show its mettle. And in standard CPU metrics such as Cinebench and the X264 video encoding benchmarks, the Intel chip is ahead. In Cinebench's single core test, the difference is stark, and that's long been the case with the core architecture versus Ryzen. It's closer in multi-threaded tests, as you might expect, but the Intel chip still has the lead. In general gaming terms too, the 9900K is the top chip. So that's it, the Core i9-9900K is the fastest mainstream processor you can drop into your gaming PC. Job done, we can all go home now, sweet. Except that doesn't tell the whole story. We benchmark the two chips as we normally do with the GTX 1070 at top 1080p settings and the 9900K is at most 10% quicker. With modern titles the top graphics settings means that you're getting GPU bound even at 1080p. Shift that to the same settings with an RTX 2080 Ti to simulate games where you're more CPU bound and the 9900K can be between 20 and 40% faster than AMD's most powerful gaming chip. That's a huge performance delta between the two CPUs and doubles down on Intel's claims about the new chip being the world's best. But CPU bound games are very, very rare, especially when you're talking about running at the top graphic settings and more importantly at 4K. We tested both processors using the same games at the highest 4K settings with the 2080 Ti and even though it's the ultimate gaming GPU around right now, games are still GPU bound at 4K. And at that point there's practically no difference between the AMD and Intel chips, except for slightly higher minimum frame rates with the 9900K, suggesting there is a little bit more stability to the frame rate when you're using the Intel chip. In fact it's only Civilization 6 that delivers a clear performance win for Intel at the 4K level. So in performance terms then, the 9900K can be claimed as the fastest gaming processor overall, but with so much gaming performance down to the selection of your graphics card and the game settings you're going to run, is it really going to be the best chip for you? All Intel really wants us to do is to confirm its claims that this is indeed the world's best gaming processor. And if we were solely talking about the 9900K in terms of its raw processing performance and gaming frame rates, then we could absolutely support that statement. But the term best might mean different things for different people. Of course there are going to be those in the world for whom money means nothing and can therefore spend big on their gaming hobby with impunity. 
For those, the term best is purely a performance metric, and the 9900K is the chip they'll happily choose. For the rest of us, with rental and mortgages to pay and a finite amount of ready cash to splash, the best processor means the chip which offers the best price-performance balance. And in a holistic sense, it's tough to say the new Intel i9 is that. The 9900K is over $500, or around £500, while the 2700X is now approximately £300, or $300. If you've got a set amount of money to spend on your PC build, then the extra $200 plus you're going to save going for AMD's 2700X over the 9900K, and potentially even more given the cheaper AM4 platform, that money can be better spent on a more powerful graphics card, and that will have a greater impact on your gaming performance than the CPU will. If you're looking to game at 4K, then funneling your money to the GPU side of the equation is a much better bet. When the graphics card is the bottleneck, it doesn't matter whether you've got a 9900K or a 2700X, even if you're talking about a card as high-end as the RTX 2080 Ti. Either chip will allow you to game at the highest 4K settings at the same frame rate, and that makes the question as to which is really the world's best gaming processor a much tougher call. The Intel Core i9-9900K is the quickest gaming processor you can buy but because of its huge price tag, pushing it very close to the high-end desktop X-series market, it's a hard CPU to recommend for most PC gamers. Most of us are running our games at the ragged limits of our graphics cards already, and at that point the AMD Ryzen chips are just as capable of keeping the GPU fed with gaming frames. But there is another. The Core i7-9700K with its 8 cores and 8 threads could be a really interesting gaming chip, and it's only a little bit more expensive than the top Ryzen. Though unfortunately Intel hasn't yet supplied those for testing, so we can't say for sure. So right now then, we're probably not going to be changing our recommendation as to the best gaming CPU. We're a frugal lot here and price performance metrics are still king at PC Games N. So thanks for watching and if you've liked what you've seen, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff and check back for more great PC Games N hardware and gaming goodness. Thanks for watching.